This week, I rearranged my room, researched tons of cameras, and we finally got the new gear I ordered last week. Cue the intro. What's up everyone, my name is Alex Caves and welcome to another weekly update. I'm the type of person who needs to change things up to keep things interesting, otherwise I get bored. One of the first things I did this week was to rearrange my room, mainly my queen size desk. I moved it from behind this window here to back towards the opposite wall from this. It was starting to feel claustrophobic when I was filming in between my desk and the wall. And so I needed to create more distance. And one of the things that I noticed with other YouTubers in their talking head segments was that most of them had a lot of distance between the person and the wall. So that more of the focus is on me and not the stuff on my wall. Although that's pretty cool, I would say. <laughs> and also because the desk wasn't centered to the room, it was becoming annoying placing the tripod on the desk, you know, not being able to pan out because you would see the edge of the desk like being cut off right there. And I felt that all of these little annoyances outweighed the weight uh, that I would have to lift to move this thing. And so I did. And uh, you'll see how I moved it. <laughs> This was not an easy move. The three quarter inch MDF tabletop alone weighs like 120 pounds. But oh my gosh, having it in this arrangement has made a world of difference. My room is now like primarily set up for the segment, which is such a time saver. And now I can step up right onto the camera without having to reach over the desk to try to reach the settings. And it's been working great. The one valuable takeaway I can tell you in relation to moving with my bed is the fact that you don't have to settle for things just because this is how you got it or because this is how it's been forever. We do this because that's the way we've been doing it is the stupidest sentence anyone can say. It's like your parents or your teachers or your boss saying, do it because I told you so. There's no meaning behind it. There's no reason behind it. Ugh, it's the most annoying lecture in the world. I hate it. As a designer, as a free thinker, I'm constantly asking why. If I can't question why we do things, then there's no point in doing it. And do it because I told you so tells me that there wasn't any thought and they didn't want to improve or explore new ideas. They're being lazy. Truth is, even if something works really well, there's probably still something that can be tweaked to make it better. That's why Apple keeps coming out with new iPhones. <laughs> this is the foundation behind the design mindset that I advocate always ask why to everything. Why is this like this and not this? Why is this button here? Why, 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 why? You know, even the smallest change could improve something dramatically. And this mindset doesn't just apply to objects or product design. If you have a crappy job, why? If you're in a shitty relationship, why? If you're depressed, why? If you're unhappy, why? The first step to solving any problems is by asking why. And just the awareness of understanding why things are affecting you a certain way will make you start to feel better and your brain will automatically start to figure out a solution. The trick is digging deep enough to get to the root of the problem. Worst case, you'll end up where you were. So no reason not to give it a try. So give it a try. All right, back to what happened this week. <laughs> so we got two of our new gear that we ordered last week, the Rode VideoMic Pro Plus with Boom Kit and the Zomi 72 inch aluminum tripod. Let's take a quick look. So cue the B-roll. Thank you. 
If you couldn't tell from the start of this episode, my audio has been amazing compared to the previous episodes because right now I have the new Rode set up on the boom right above my head, just like how the pros do it. And this tripod is so much nicer and easier to level out and adjust. And it's just gonna be a huge part of this new setup. Uh, the old one is falling apart. <laughs> it doesn't compare. The next thing on the list is a new camera because I've been messing with the settings on this T4i and I got it the best I can, but you can still see some noise in the background in the dark spots. It's like a pixelation or a flickering that's kind of happening, Ugh, but this is the best I can do and I'm getting tired of it. So another reason I need a new primary camera and I did get the GoPro Hero Black, but I still need a primary camera and I've been doing tons of research. And for that reason, uh, a new primary camera is going to be my next purchase. The GoPro Hero 7 Black is on its way, but that is my secondary as like a time-lapse camera or a close up, you know, getting the nice close shots or slow-mo shots because it can do 1080p on 240 frames per second, which is insane. That'd be great for recording, you know, very fast machinery. The camera on the top of my list is the Blackmagic Pocket Cinema 4K. This thing just came out last month. There are more and more reviews still coming out, but oh my God, the capabilities of this thing is insane. File formats that you can record on this is that of a cinema, like a legit cinema camera. And it's only 1300 bucks. So <laughs> that is most likely gonna be the next purchase. And one of the greatest features is that it can be plugged into the wall. So no battery reliant, especially for recording the podcast that I do, the Design Fly podcast with Ben Maiosi and Alex Caves. The T4i has been like stopping every 30 minutes because that's just how it is programmed. But with this black magic, that will no longer be the case. And, and one of the coolest features is that you can go directly into a SSD drive, an external hard drive, from your camera directly into that. So no more SD cards. Oh, no more having to worry about running out of storage. This thing is gonna change the game when it comes to me being able to create amazing cinematic videos and content for you guys without any disruptions. Ugh, ugh, ugh. And lastly, I will be working on creating a video that will go in more depth about the products that we quickly went over, the VideoMic Pro Plus and the tripod. We will be creating a new segment called Review and Refine where we, instead of doing what every other YouTuber does with reviews and unboxing, I will be focusing more on the design thinking and design intention behind these products and talk in depth about you know, what works well, what doesn't work well, where is it over designed, where is it under designed or, you know, well, that's it for me, guys. We are continually self-reflecting, improving what we do, and sharing our story along the way. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next week.